What you're looking at right now is butterscotch candy in the vending machine. Which is weird because I didn't know we worked at an old folks home. I thought we worked at a radio station. And the only other thing that would be worse would be... Diet burners. <laughs> What up? Welcome to the uh, latest episode of EOB TV. And uh, if you're anything like I am, you uh, spent the week glued to your television set. Can't wait to watch Kate Goslin on Dancing with the Stars. She came out and she looked horrible, as everybody knew she would. And then had the gall at the end of it when they asked her what was the inspiration behind using Lady Gaga's paparazzi. She has the gall um, with a cast that has Pamela Anderson and Shannon Doherty um, to say that she's constantly followed by the paparazzi and that they drive her crazy. Um, not that anyone would watch a sex tape that has sex, uh, Kate Goslin involved, but um, she hasn't been there yet. And really, let's be honest, you went after the government to want them to pay for your children. And when that didn't work, you got a show on Discovery on your own volition. Um, so you, you kind of got to take what comes with that sort of thing. If you want to be famous, you have to take the paparazzi along with it. Now. I was hoping at the end of Dances with the Stars she would crawl back into the hole that she came out of with her eight children and we'd never have to see her again. Obviously, I'm not dumb enough to think that that would actually come true. Instead, um, they have given her a new show called Twist of Kate. And after some research, I was disappointed to find out that it has nothing to do with the Hardy Boys professional wrestling finishing move, which I wish they would do on her so that we don't have to watch her on television anymore. Howsoever, um, it's going to be a lifestyle show where Kate empowers women to... Um, have eight children that's a stress on the system in the country, then divorce their husband and go on a dancing reality show? I think that's what it's going to be about. Um, and if it is, clearly that that's a hit maker right there. Absolute positive hit maker. Not at all. Uh, please don't watch the show. I'm begging you. You don't have to listen to me. I, I, I understand that. But I'm asking friend to friend if you would just not ever watch Twist of Kate because... Um, we, we want her. It's important for society, I should say, for her to go away. It's more important for John Goslin to go away, but John Goslin goes away if Kate Goslin goes away because he's the least interesting part of that whole deal. So uh, if you could do me a favor and never watch the show, that would be awesome. And make sure uh, on Monday and Tuesday you vote against Kate so we can get her off the show. Not that I'm a fan of Dancing with the Stars, but I at least understand that you should be able to um, hold down the first part of the title of the show, which would be Dancing, and she can't really do that. So, uh, yeah, it's much like American Idols who can't sing, although this entire season is full of people that can't sing. Never mind. I'm on a tangent. Uh, we'll catch you again next week. Don't forget UFC 112 this Saturday night. Uh, catch us online at WSNX.com. Holla.